everybody. How exciting is this? <laughs> Mum and Lou reunited. It's great. Guess back who's again. back? Back again. Lou is back. Tell a friend. Who sang that? Guess who's back? You. Oh, I know. You Eminem. Sh- That's a good start for today because we're really excited to announce today is New Music Monday. We thought, what better way to start off the week, especially on a Monday, with some new music. Music that we've found, we have we like, maybe through Twitter. I think what's so fantastic about uh, the Twitter and... The Twitter. The t- Twitter and YouTube and... Facebook. Facebook and all. I didn't even know about SoundCloud until this all came along, but obviously Spotify. It's the fact that particularly all this, this new, all these new bands, it's a way that they can, and new singers, songwriters, they can all get their stuff out there for everybody to hear. I think the thing is that we're a very musical family. We always do a lot of singing, in some cases really good singing, not so good. Um, <laughs> but we do have a lot of music in the, in the house, always have done. So we want to share some new stuff with you that, we've, that we really like. See what you think. This is our first time at sort of, we're not trying to really review stuff no. particularly. I'm not a music critic. What I'm saying is from our point of view, we like from it. somebody, from me, that's worked at festivals, who likes a festival, who also loves music and will listen to it. I don't think I ever have a moment in my day where I don't listen to music. No, we I do. I go to bed listening to music. So let's get started really with our New Music Monday. First of all, we want to talk about this band from London. They are a two-piece pop band called Kingcatcher, who you can hear playing in the background. We're really enjoying this. Remind us of Daft Punk. There's a Nile Rodgers thing going on. Obviously, that's a throwback to my day. But it's also, what's great about Nile Rodgers is he's in your day as well. So he's truly intergenerational. We love that. You know, they've got their own original sound. I can imagine them being at Glastonbury. It's called Butterfly. have another song, Night ride. Well, you can hear all of them on SoundCloud. Like a bit of a bop. Yeah, it's a kind of bop-able. It's bop-able, but they're kind of chill out too, aren't they? Chill out, bop-able, Glastonbury. Yeah. If you want to go into it's sort of Glastonbury feel and we like that, you know, summer, summer vibes. If you're feeling a bit autumnal. Well, I think it just, on. frankly, I think it just goes through the year. Anyway, give them a listen and we'll put up their details on Twitter and stuff so you can follow them as well, but really, really great band. So, uh, And they're from London, so Yay for London bands. Flying the flag. So next mm. up we have the three piece band, which are The Feud. The one of my feud. personal favourites. We actually yeah, we've have got a, a very big loyalty to the yeah, feud. We've got to hold our hands up here and say that these boys, three boys from Manchester area are really talented. We've known them actually for a number of years. I did some work with them as well back in the day. We have seen them grow. And they were very small and now they're very, very tall. tall. Well, they've always been very tall. <laughs> yeah, they have that. actually. They're but all very tall. And they were in a, a their, one of their songs was featured in a movie yeah, called The, the Vacation. Day. Yeah. The song's called Rise and it's featured in the soundtrack. And this is what you're oh. hearing now. Also, back in the day, bit back in the day, how long ago was that? Not that long ago. Three years. But mm, they were featured on Radio One. No, oh, no, that was only a year ago. It Ain't Right. And also, one of my favourite songs at the moment is This Is Love. They're quite electronic, um, indie, bit of rock. You know, but they've all got they've all got their own style. Are they called synth, synth electronic rock? You and they're really, really nice boys played rock for people alongside Muse. They have done their apprenticeship, you know, gigs all over the place, travelled around in vans, you know, so, you know. Experience that lifestyle. You know, they've really, like, grafted and worked for it, so they are brilliant. Please check them out. They're on Spotify, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and we want you to have a dance along to their beats. The next uh, band we want to feature is a band called Charlie Wood, and they are actually from Austria. Vienna. From Vienna, which I've never been to and I'd love to go, go because it's meant to be absolutely beautiful. But they're indie pop and rock. We actually came across them through Twitter, which actually is a great way to find new music, and especially with this one song they've done called Playback, and they have this- They've got a great video. And the music video is brilliant. It's set all around Vienna. Yes, a little, you know, well, you can hear it. 
in the background. background. Just have a little bit of a dance with us to New Music Monday. It's one of those. But the song's called Playback and it's a brilliant song. Um, I love the guitar bits in it. You know, they all seem quite well gelled together band. And I think that's really important. You know, you see the chemistry on stage or when in a, in a performer and, you know, it makes you want to listen to them even more. And I like the fact that they're not English. Yeah. Well, it's like my other um, thing that I love at the moment is Madcon. And I found they're from Norway. There we go. There we go. So, you know, let's big up all these bands from across Europe. It's just not all necessarily all about the UK and America. So, really check them out. They're on, I think they're on everything Spotify, um, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Soundcloud. Soundcloud as well. So, please check them out. Really big thumbs up to them. Next one is Daniel Pearson, who we found again through Twitter. And we really like him. He's a singer-songwriter from Leeds. From Leeds. Up Leeds. Is that a really bad impression of Leeds? Yeah. Let's do that again. And it's Daniel Pearson. And he's from... <laughs> he's Leeds. from... He's from Leeds. What we, what we really uh, love about Daniel is that he obviously is his own person, original, some fantastic fantastic songs. He's a singer-songwriter, obviously, fantastic songs, fantastic lyrics. But again, for, for me, it reminds, um, he reminds me of Neil Young, uh, the Crosby, yeah. Stills, Nash and Young days, um, great favourites of ours as a family. And youth, loose. he says, you, you, he yeah, the slight... Damien Rice, and, but he's got the original, origi original sound, you know, not, he's not like these people but he reminds us of and I think that's really important that in a way is you take influence from other people and you can then adapt and grow as a musician and I feel like he's really done that. I don't know whether he actually has taken off from any of these as we love, I love Damien Rice and Mum, we all love Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. I think it's really important that you know these bands have, you know, you kind of throw back to these bands. Well it's a translation, it's Trans it? they translate transition. Yes, but they translate old mm. Uh, ideas and trends and influences and, and build on them and that's that's what um... so we really like the songs I believe As Deep As Love and Rivers really great tunes so please check them out you can, you can find them on Twitter, Facebook, Soundcloud I'll introduce you to a band from from Chicago Chicago will you stop <laughs> doing these dreadful impressions you're not William that's really offensive no, I don't mean that meanly, but you try, but you know. But it's not like I'm. It's not like I'm being rude. I'm just. No, you're not. I know, but I'm just trying annoying. to get. I'm trying to get into their mindset. Yes, but how how annoyed would you be if they said, "We'd like to talk," you know, about Lucy need, from London. L Lucy from London. September's rest. So we found them again through Twitter. They are rocky. Yeah, they are. We played it to uh, the boys in the family. Boys. Uh, thinking there's a kind of Nirvana vibe going on. Again, they're original. But you can imagine them at Reading, you know, they're the sort of band that you'd want to want to listen to at Reading Festival. For me, I used to go to Reading Festival when I was 15, 16, and I loved it. I did. Yes, but I, I think if I'd known then about Reading, what I know now, you wouldn't have gone at 15 or 16. No, you did. But I was good, I think. No, you back. went at 16. Didn't go 15. 15, actually, thank you. I went, I uh, did go at 15. I went, went to a lot years. of people, went with a lot of people. I've seen them playing at Reading. They're very much a moshy sort of band. You want to mosh to them. Do you know what mosh is, Mummy? Uh, is that a kind of dancing in the pit? Yeah, it's a mosh pit. You go into the mosh pit and they go, Poo! and they barge you out of the way. And you, I don't who, know barges, people, who barges you out of the way? Well, people just throw each other into the circle and you might get smacked. You might. I wouldn't like that. No, you Why can't you just dance? When I went to... Um, I don't know, it's an expression. It's a way of expressing themselves, I guess, through music. So. Actually, do you know what annoyed me? When I went to that, um, what it's called, All Cannings, All Cannings Festival, um, there, I went up to the stage, near the front of the stage to watch... Mosh. To watch Howard Jones and The Sweet and people like that. No idea who <clears> that is. That's really rude, actually, because they're no, quite big not... people from the 70s and 80s. But anyway, but Jones listen, let me tell you. Don't. don't the, oh, the, sweet. <laughs> the sweet. Lucy, that's terrible. Don't be so rude. Sorry, it's glam rock days. I'm sorry. But anyway, do your homework and look up. Are you glam rock. 
Was it like Kiss? No! Uh, that's <laughs> things not, like Blockbuster. Anyway, no, I know, but I'm just saying. What, Ghostbusters? So anyway, no, I'm trying to tell you my story. <laughs> anyway, we, I was dancing away, and then these two women, who had a bit to drink, I think, dance along there, and suddenly you find yourself moving back and back because they're moving in front of you. Mm-hmm. And they don't really care, and they budge you back. And so I you should have just. Pit. I think they should. You're comparing that to a mosh pit. Hmm? Why didn't you push them back? Well, it's a bit, you know, then you get into a bit rude, and it, uh, that's stand not very ground, kind. Stand your ground at festivals. Number one rule. Yeah, well, stand, and you're just chatting about some woman barging you. Okay. I'm so it sorry, was... September's Rest. <laughs> but we think you're cool. But there's the, the song Survive, and they've got also another t- a song which is acoustic called Letting Go, and. Actually, I watched a video of them, and their guitarist is really cool. He's got he's got an amazing like rhythm, kind of. You know, right. I mean, though, he's really good, like at uh, riffs and I could solo, good. Yes, it, it solos, really guitar good. solos. Yeah. So yeah. Um, check them out on um, Facebook, Twitter, Nirvana. We feel. Yeah. 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 So now rock alternative rock, and there are four four of them in the band. So, have a listen, see what you think. Now, the last band that we want to introduce you to, although you may already know them, um, and if you do, you're lucky, because you've heard about them before us, and I wish we'd heard about them before. They are uh, an amazing uh, band from LA. They're called Faded Paper Figures, and they have this really quirky, uh, wonderful sound, um, synth, poppy, uh, but really intelligent. Yeah, and intelligent li- lyrics. Cur- it's sort of like they're curious about life, but you know, they've got this 1980s cult sort of pop. And the album theme. that we've been listening to is Relics. I'm definitely downloading this. It's, it's great, it's fun. Different songs. Um, I said to Lou, uh, you may remember from when we did one of our vlogs on box sets, how our how our wonderful new girl, how much we love that, uh, with the wonderful Zoe Deschanel. I've said that. Yeah. I said, wow, this seems like the sort of band that she'd be in. Quirky, if fun. You can listen to it. You can be entertained by it. Mm. You can. It's thought-provoking, and anyway, have a listen. This particular track is... We've actually got a top three, actually, which we really like. One's called Dark Energy. One's called Wake Up Dead, which is... I love that title. And Not the End of the World. I love that title, too. i put it on after this. Have a bit of a dance. But all of these artists today we've featured, we absolutely, absolutely love. We think they're something that you can listen to, and they're not just of the now. You know, they sort of relate to the past and the future. You know, future music that you expect to hear, or and past music maybe from the 1980s, 1990s, that sort of vibe. This is anyway, we're going to say goodbye and send off yeah. New Music Monday. Thank you so much for tuning in. As, as always, we've actually got our websites coming. Mumandlou.com is nearly ready. And we're still on Facebook, Twitter. What else do we have? What's this out? Oh, we've got our Spotify Mum and Lou playlist. And actually, we're going to be updating that because what we've just talked about today will be featured on it. We'll be on it. So, thanks again for tuning in. At Mum and Lou, tweet us. Um, we hope you're all well and you're all having a great week. So and just take great care. Great start. Monday. Let's make Monday great by New Music happy Monday. Happy Music Monday. You make happy Music Monday. Happy New Music Monday.